And I knew my time was up. I knew months before that my time was up. But me giving him that key, I still was like holding on to the key as he was taking it from me because I was like, I really don't want to go, but I have to. I have to because this does not serve. It's not cool. And I walked out the door and I remember it being cold. And I remember saying, Joy, don't leave if you're going to go back. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another moment with joy. I'm so excited that y'all keep meeting me here every week. Every Thursday, we're doing it. We're meeting. We're talking about issues that are deep on our hearts. And if they've been helping you, please let me know. Y'all let me know. That's one thing I love about these talks. I love them. I love them because they lead to talks outside of YouTube, in my DM. Y'all are on my website. Y'all are really showing a girl some love. And I couldn't be more grateful. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you don't know who I am, I am Joy River Certified Life Coach. And I also have a podcast called The Couch where me and my girls, we sit around and we talk about the real issues that's going on. So y'all tune into all of those things. So today, the topic today is something that I'm currently dealing with. So I could be transparent here on the couch where I know I'm safe and you guys know what's up. Um, today, the topic is about letting go. We're letting go, y'all. We, we're cutting the cord. We're letting go. And letting go is hard. Letting go is hard to do. Especially when you, um, when there's no issue, there's no fault, there's no wrongdoings, when it's just seasons changing, it's hard. It's hard to watch somebody you love and you have to separate yourself for a season. It's hard. So today we're talking about letting go. Just like you, I get stressed out, I get scared, I get afraid of the next season. And quite frankly, sometimes I have to go back and I have to read affirmations and I have to meditate and I have to get in the frame of mind of this is a shift that is about to happen and we will get through it. So letting go of fear, letting go of the the feeling of I can't, we got to let it all go today. So on my website, I ask people, I ask that people send me questions. And one of the questions is, how do I let go of what no longer serves me, Joy? How do I let go of what no longer serves me? And another question was, how do I know the relationship I'm currently in for about two years is worth fighting for or I need to let go of? How do I know if it's worth fighting for or should I let go? Fight for it or let it go. Fight for it or let it go. Normally, in those situations, I always tell a person who's asking me the question, if you have to question it, then we there's something to think about. Fighting for something entails that there's really a struggle and to me, when you have to fight for something, then there's something that should be taken inventory of, right? So my answer to the person is, you need to let go of anything that's not reciprocating the energy that you put into it. If you're over loving, if you're over giving, if, let me not even say over, if you're the only one loving, the only one giving, the only one showing up, the only one answering the phone call at 2 a.m. to help out. The only one being present emotionally and available emotionally whenever there's an issue. You're the one that picks people up. No, no, no. You got it. You're that person. But when it's your turn to need and want that in return, it's not there. It's not available to you. It's time to go. It's time to go. So you're asking, how do I know if this relationship is worth fighting for? Is it reciprocal? Are you fed? Are you full? 
Are you whole? Are you happy? Are you loved? Are you adored? Are you seen? If you're if you are, stay, work it out. If you're not, let it go. And a lot of you are saying, but what about, you know, sometimes I'm just not present. If you're in a season where you're with someone romantically and you're in a relationship with this person and you're not present at the moment, even in friendships, I'll even go that far. Even in friendships, if you're going through a season where you're not able to be present because of things that are going on with you and you need that extra love, make sure you communicate that with your people. Don't just go missing just because. Mm Mm-mm. Sometimes you do need to be held up. Yes. But in your moment of after you get your energy back and after you get built up and after you feeling good about yourself again and the light is shining through you again, understand that the person that poured their love into you needs that back in return from you. It would be nice to get it from you. But if not, understand that everything that's that's another one. Everything is replaceable. And a lot of y'all say, I'm irreplaceable. I'm in irre-. Everything is replaceable. So we're going to start letting things go that do not serve us any longer. Okay. And the metaphor that I use is the tree metaphor. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard it before. The tree. The tree has leaves, right? All my plants in here have leaves. The leaves are there for a purpose. They're there for a purpose. And they're only there for what? A season. Leaves fall. And it's funny how nature just knows when to fall. Nature just knows when to rest. Nature just doesn't have a problem giving in to the release. And a lot of people um, feel seasonal depression around this time. Fall when the trees are starting to preserve their energy. For the winter, they 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 start feeling the same way because naturally we're all connected. We're nature. All of this is just is just what it is. So when you start to feel your energy go down, know that that's natural as well. Know that there there isn't as much sunlight during these times. Daylight ends early. Nighttime just seems to last so long. Get that extra rest. Be like the trees, be like the leaves, and go into your hibernation season gracefully. A lot of people call it seasonal depression, but I I choose to call it hibernation. A lot of people hate that I be changing words, but it's just for me. You don't have to do this. For me, it's hibernation. So when I'm taking an extra nap, don't judge me. When I go to bed at 7 o'clock because it got dark at 430, don't judge me. Go to sleep, y'all. Okay, so like the tree, they have leaves. The leaves serve a purpose. The purpose for the leaves is to do what? The purpose for the leaves is to grab the sunlight. Okay, they grab the sunlight and that converts into energy for the tree. To live, to prosper, to grow. And I mean, it just flourishes during the summer because the sun is just out so much and the leaves are just grabbing all this energy. And I mean, they're converting this sunlight to energy to the tree. And we all just thriving out here being trees, right? These leaves provide energy for the tree. The tree starts to grab the nutrients from the earth, the water. And I mean, it brings up for the leaves to eat and nourish. It keeps the leaves green and flowing and growing extra leaves and branches. And I mean, the water from the earth gets pulled up by this tree and it starts to bring nutrients to all of these beautiful leaves that you and I need for air, shade in the summertime. And I mean, just a beautiful, relaxing view. Okay, these trees Know when it's time to let go of what gave them energy. Why are they letting go of these leaves, y'all? Sure, I'll answer it. (laughs) They are letting go of these leaves because it's cold outside. The ground is no longer wet. It's not going to be bringing enough water for the leaves to thrive during the season. So the tree literally pushes the leaves out. The tree says, I can't provide for you and me. It was where you were providing for me to to thrive, to grow, to stay energized. And now you no longer serve a purpose. 
So the tree naturally, and you can look this up, it pushes the leaves out and they like grow this, uh, I'll call it a scab because that's just how I relate. But they grow a, scra a scab right over where the leaf popped out and it doesn't open up until the next season because the tree is holding on to all its energy, all its nutrients that is going to last them. They're preserving it through the winter time because they're going to need it. And as soon as summertime hits and those leaves start to pop out, those brand new leaves, those brand new beautiful green leaves, the water starts to flow to what's giving the tree energy. So how many of y'all are pouring and pouring and pouring into leaves that cannot give you back the energy? Because if that tree kept giving the energy to the leaves during the wintertime, the tree would die because... That it would give all its nutrients away. And the only way for that tree to survive is if it drops. If it drops the leaves, y'all. The beautiful leaves, right? And we look at the fall and we go, oh, that's so beautiful. But the tree is like, I'm surviving out here. <laughs> I'm surviving. And the same goes for you when you have to shed, when you have to let go, when you have to let things wither away in your fall. It's how we live. You cannot take things that are draining your energy into your next season. It's impossible. And just like that tree, the leaves that fell to the ground that became earth again to, you know, give that tree life again. There will be brand new leaves that burst for you, meaning brand new jobs, a brand new home peace, freedom. There's so much newness waiting for you after that relationship, after you let go of that bad habit, after you let go of things that no longer serve you. There are brand new leaves waiting. There are brand new beautiful things waiting on you. We just got to let it go. And you're asking, Joy, how can I do that? How can I let go? How can I let go? And you must be willing seasonally to accept that letting go is a part of life. You have to accept it. I have had to come to grips, like grips with the fact that I have to unloose my grip. And I have to walk around in this life, on this journey with my palms up and open ready to receive whatever God has for me to receive because I know that once I let go I can become who I'm called to be in every level every relationship every friendship you're gonna have to possibly let that go one day they may not last forever and that's okay that's okay that's okay your energy and your intuition will let you know when it's time to let something go. And if you're in tapped into if you're tapped into who you are and your intuition and you know the voice, then it won't be hard for you to know when seasons come and a shift is happening. You'll feel it and you'll go, oh, there's that shift again. We're about to go to another place. And everyone around you will be challenged. You will even be challenged because some things that you love will have to go. Even the things that helped you get to where you are. Just like on a rocket ship, those boosters help that rocket get up into orbit. And as soon as their job and purpose is done, guess what they do? The rocket has to release that. He has to release those boosters to get further up into orbit. So certain things things everything everything has its time and its season and as human beings I think if we learned and really came to grips with letting go is okay for our growth for our purpose then maybe we'll look at these seasons changing as a great maybe we can look at these seasons changing as a great elevation versus this hard hard time how do I identify when the energy is no longer being reciprocated? The way that I identify is when I'm drained, when I'm still seeking for that energy back, when I'm depleted, when I'm dreading going around this person or this job or 
even even a habit, a bad habit, even when you're eating all this food that you know you ain't got no business eating, that's, it just doesn't feel good. And that's when I start to say, okay, my energy is being sucked out somewhere. And when you find out where your energy is being drained or there's an energy leak, find out where that is and stop it. Keep that energy for you. Keep that energy for you. It's yours. You deserve that. And that's when I know, oh, I got to go. You better push those leaves that no longer serve you a purpose off your branches or you will be depleted and you will not have the energy to finish this race. You will be like that tree and you will wither away. The whole tree just dies. Okay. And that's not what I want for y'all. I want y'all to be great. When you hold on too long at what sucks your energy dry, you will be drained and depleted. What once fed you is no longer feeding you. Can we, maybe we should stop. What once fed you is no longer feeding you, meaning it's gone. And you've tried, you waited a year, you were so hopeful, like this going to come back, this going to come back. But why deposit into an account that's not going to bring you anything in return? That hope will kill you. I'm. It's going it, to... Don't... Mm-mm. Let it go. Come on, let's say it together. Say, I release it and I let it go. I release the, the thought that this could get better after I waited two years for it to get better. Mm-mm. Y'all, release it and let it go. You deserve the energy that you give out. When people have served their purpose, send them away with love and light. You serve your purpose leaves, but I must preserve my energy in this season because it's going to get real cold. So I'm going to preserve my energy in this season, and I'm not going to think that nothing will come of this. I'm going to wait for summer to come, and I'm going to look at the beautiful leaves that, that are blossoming in time. Okay, if nature rests, it's okay for you to rest too. When you're starting to learn and accept the let go change, I'll say the let go energy. Um, friendships is a part of that. Friendships are a part of that. And those are the hardest for me to let go of because I love, I love so hard and I love so deep and it's unconditional, meaning it lasts forever, right? Either whether you're in my presence or not, it's love for me so it's hard for me to let go of friendships that were very near and dear to me but in this season I'm learning that is what's best when you elevate to a level of knowing and honoring what was not looking at and going I wasted my time I did that was I can't believe I gave that much energy Mm mm-mm You did what you were supposed to do. You served your purpose. And when it's time for you to fall, it's time for you to fall. It's time for you to go. You served your purpose. And walk away honoring that. You served your purpose and that person served their purpose. Okay? So don't feel guilty either. Don't judge yourself. Don't start asking a question. Am I a bad person for letting that girl go or letting him go? He was a really good friend of mine and it wasn't nothing that he did wrong it's just I'm in a different place in a different time and I have different goals and nothing's wrong with that you're not a bad person you chose yourself and guess what if it's meant to be it'll be people who love you may not be around for a season but there'll be another season where they can come back and be better you can come back and be better you know what I mean so be excited about that be excited about that Honor the fact that everything has an expiration date and that everything is replaceable. Honor that. Go into every season knowing that this will be a better season than the last. Every time I enter a new season, that's new relationships, new friendships, new promotions, new connections, new everything, new And you cannot get there until you let go. You can't grow until you let go. Your branches and your leaves can't come in until you let go. 
okay joy how you ask joy how can i let go how can i do it what can i do and my first thing is be honest with yourself be honest with yourself be direct and really take inventory of what you're doing take data of your life when you give this person flowers what is the what's the thing that happens for you you can't keep giving to an empty well that's not pouring water on you it's just impossible for you to even thrive that way you need to be watered and I know people think that's it. Well, I give from the, from the bottom of my heart. I just give because I love them. I give because that's what we're supposed to do. You're not supposed to expect nothing in, in return. Love needs to be reciprocal. I hope I'm saying that right. It needs to be. You deserve it. And I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. But for the person who thinks that giving and giving and giving is okay to someone who's not giving back to you. It's not. It's not, and I'm, it's not, okay? How, Joy, how can I do it? Number one, I mean, I'm sorry, number two, direct your energy towards something positive. Instead of giving those flowers and giving all that love and giving all that attention to someone who does not reciprocate that, who just wants to suck that from you, Use all of that energy instead of, I'm going to go put some flowers on her car or I'm going to go give him a card or I'm going to go buy him a car or I'm going to go buy him that bag. He was, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. I'm a, Every time you do that for a person who's not available for you in any way, just turn around and do it for yourself. Before we go to them, turn around, do it for yourself. Start putting that energy into you direct that energy that's the number two thing direct that energy to you creating something for you and your happiness and your pleasure that's number two let's direct that energy where it needs to go okay number three donate throw out and delete donate all the things that this person is giving you <laughs> give them away when you when it's time to let go let go don't keep a little trinket on your fireplace that your that this person gave you donate some do, donate them clothes and since we seen the dress we seen the shoes donate it give it away throw out what needs to be thrown away don't have it just around so when you walking around your house you have a memory uh -uh, throw it out delete it delete the number delete the instagram go ahead just get rid of all the things that remind you and make it hard for you to let go get rid of it i remember i was in a relationship and he bought so many nice things for me y'all and i mean all top of the line stuff so because i don't want y'all to think that this stuff was like not cheap it was expensive and it was so it was so much that and at the time I was living with my mom so I, of course I was like really feeling myself and <laughs> he bought all these things and I remember not having enough room for it in my mom's house so I was like dang I gotta go get a storage unit for this not thinking at the time girl get your own apartment and live your best life no I was like I gotta get a storage room for all the things that I have right and I mean jewelry, everything. And at the time, I thought the storage would be cool to do, right? Long story short, all my stuff was in this storage, and we had broken up, and I was still wearing the things, still looking great. And they called one day, and they were like, Joy, we have a problem. And I'm like, what's the problem? Well, we auctioned off your unit by mistake. And prior to, I knew I was supposed to let go of it. Man, I knew I was supposed to let go of that stuff. I knew it. I knew I was. My intuition, my energy, everything. Every, God came down and sat with me and said, get rid of the things and move on. And I just could not do it. They ended up auctioning off the whole unit 
and they gave me a check, of course, for some money, but it, it couldn't amount to what, what I lost. However, well, hmm, what I thought I lost. However, in that moment, I learned a valuable lesson of letting go. When something's not supposed to be, just like those trees push them leaves out, when something's not supposed to be, it will be pushed out. Especially if you ask for it, like, clear all my space. If it's not supposed to be, God, don't let it be. Y'all pray them prayers, and God really be like, okay, cool. I'm going to clean it up. And I learned that day that letting go. No, I didn't learn that day. I'm lying. <laughs> I didn't learn that day. I was mad. I was mad that day. I was so mad. Weeks later, I learned that I was making room not even I God was making room because I didn't want it to happen but God was making room for me and showing me and teaching me that letting go is okay because everything that I got after that was way more valuable and not in price but just life it was way more valuable than any of that stuff it brought the things that came to me brought me way more joy than those things would have ever brought me if I would have still had them today and most of them labels Ain't even nothing today. So let's put that out there. Okay. So we're going to donate, throw away, and delete. Okay. Before God do it for you. Because that would be really hard to do. Okay. Third thing. Is this the third? Third thing <laughs> is to encourage yourself. The fourth way that can help you let go is to encourage yourself. This is the biggest one for me, okay? Because a lot of times in the in the thick of the situation, because life can get real sticky and it can get real complicated and it is not that easy to just pick up and go. It's not that easy. And I mean, in relationships, in businesses where you started a business and you've been doing this business for 15 years and all of a sudden you're like, I'm done. I got to let it go. My peace is at stake. My mental health is at stake. I'm cool on my finances. I'm good with that. But me, my core, my soul is lacking. I'm depleted. I'm drained. This no longer brings me joy. This no longer feeds my soul or my spirit. It just doesn't do it. So you have to let it go. And in encouraging yourself in those moments, you have to say, I started a business. I thrived in this business and I can do it again. But in this season, these leaves will fall from me and I'll wait for the new ones to grow. But I'm going to preserve my energy through the season that I'm going through. So encouraging yourself allows you to push through the tough feeling of I can't. Okay. I remember um, being in a relationship and... I was so afraid to leave this particular relationship. Well, all of them, I probably was a little afraid. Yeah, I was afraid of leaving all the ones that I've been in. And it ain't been that many, but you know what I'm saying. I've lived. Hallelujah. Um, but this one in particular uh, was a was a interesting relationship. And that's all I'll say right now. Later on in the, in the podcast life, I might drop a little more. But this was an interesting, unique relationship. And I learned as I was in this relationship that this no longer serves me. But it was so hard for me to leave. And even in my leaving, even in my deciding to leave, y'all, I gave him back his key to his house. And I couldn't say a word because I felt like if I said a word, he would, he would say something that would make me stay. And I knew my time was up. I knew months before that my time was up. But me giving him that key, I still was like holding on to the key as he was taking it from me. Because I was like, I really don't want to go, but I have to. I have to, because this does not serve. It's not cool. And I walked out the door and I remember it being cold. And I remember saying, Joy. Don't leave if you're going to go back. Don't leave if you're going to go back. If you leave, you cannot go back. And you're leaving because you deserve better. You know that there's better. 
there is and the whole way to the car I'm literally talking to myself and you have to continue to talk to yourself and you have to continue to push yourself out the door if you stay if you look for closure if you looking for all the answers you're gonna stay you ain't ready but when you walk out scared not knowing what to do uncertain but you know one thing that it's gonna get better that's the encouragement you need to get out of what no longer serves you what no longer brings you life what depletes you get out leave and that's the fifth thing you gotta leave it's time to go it's time to go you've given all you can give you've proven that you're the best you've done all the things okay you've reached out you've tried to communicate you've loved you've given you've planted you've built you've done all the things and nothing's being returned to you go leave and people is like oh well I ain't in a relationship leave the job that no longer serves you well joy how am I pay my bills every day before work look for the job that brings you passion until you're able to go but don't intentionally just forget that you don't want to be there find a job that's for you and really take the time to look into what you want to do if it's a church come on because we all been I've been here when you know your time up at that church but that doctrine that fear factor keeps you there you supposed to be in the four walls. You supposed to. Maybe that's just not the four walls I want to be stuck in. Find your way out the door. Because the truth is God is in you. And you can pray for the place for you. But church, I really, this is just my personal opinion. It's not a fact. Church is supposed to make you feel like like a rested bed a hospital where you know I'm going to get healed the moment that church becomes draining the moment that church becomes a pool and not in a corrective way if your leader is correcting you and showing you better and you just don't want to do it that's different but where you're sowing you're serving you're showing up you're doing everything that you're supposed to do and there's still no feeding you're not getting fed it's time to go it's time to go that relationship it's time to go that habit when you know this habit is killing you on the inside food drugs sex anything if you know it's killing you and you're depleted let it go that's what we're doing today. Let's just, let's just close our eyes and take a deep breath. Mm. Y'all have to release it and let it go. And if you close your eyes for a moment and really just think about the thing that you know has been on your heart and on your mind for a while, that you're like, joy, yeah. I've been holding on to something that I know doesn't serve me. And... I know for a fact that me holding on to it has stopped and stunted my growth in certain areas. So in this moment, as we breathe together, as we center ourselves together, as we take a moment to release it and let it go, just say whatever I've been dealing with, whatever has been on my mind, whatever has been depleting me, wherever my energy has been leaking, I release it and let it go. I release it and let it go. I release it and let it go. Remember this. Everything, everything is replaceable. New love, new home, new joy, new peace, new everything is available for you. The Bible even says everything is working out for your good. All things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. 
and I and I and I stick with that forever. I know, even though in my even even in that situation where I left the relationship, I was real salty. I ain't gonna lie, but learning that letting go is a part of life. I learned that that relationship benefited me so much in my life. There were so many things that I learned. There were so many jewels and goodness that I took from that relationship. And that was a choice to choose to look at the good or look at the bad. So every time you walk away from something and you say, I have to let that go, send it away with peace and light and love and honor the space and the time that that person was there and the fact that they taught you what they taught you. And if you're the one that is being let go, honor the person, honor the space and thank the person for serving their purpose. And now you can say, thank you. I have to release you and let you go as well. It's a part of life. And we should just normalize that seasonal withering with no guilt, no judgment, just seasonal dropping away. Okay. So today I hope something was said that will allow you to let go a little bit easier because I know it is hard because we get used to staying comfortable and letting go is very uncomfortable. So if this helped you in any way, if it helped you in any way, please let me know. I'm excited about where Moment With Joy is going. Um, you guys allow me to just sit here and talk from my heart. And I just love it. So please leave a comment. Drop me some green hearts. And make sure you subscribe. And please send this to two people who may be struggling with the, uh, with the idea of letting go. Okay? So I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Peace and love on your journey. Can't wait till next time. See you soon.